Wow. Seriously, Disney. Okay? Artemis Fowl is a family adventure fantasy from director Kenneth Branagh and Disney. Based on the book series of the same name by Owen Colford, the film stars Ferdy Shaw, Lara McDonnell, Josh Gad, Colin Farrell, Nonzo Anozi, and Dame Judi Dench. Artemis Fowl, a young criminal prodigy, hunts down a secret society of fairies to find his missing father. Contrary to popular belief, I am not, in fact, a child. So yeah, this movie was not made for me, I recognize that. I have also not read the books. However, from what I'm reading on the internet, this movie wasn't made for fans of the books either. I read one review from a book fan that was saying, this movie sucks because in this movie, Artemis Fowl surfs and Artemis Fowl doesn't surf in the books. Does that make this movie, in my opinion, a bad movie? No. It's literally almost everything else that makes this a bad movie. I am a fan of Kenneth Branagh as a filmmaker. I'm really not sure what went wrong here. Aside from, again, pretty much everything. Very little of the acting worked for me. I did really like Lara McDonald, who I don't know, but I thought she was good. And I thought Colin Farrell was fine for his, I don't know, maybe like five minutes of screen time. I'm a fan of Josh Gad. Didn't like him in it. I'm a fan of Dame Judi Dench. Didn't like her in it. Oddly, both of those actors have very distinct voices and both of them are affecting a voice in this movie. And it's the same voice which is just weird. They're both kind of talking like this. And I, I don't know, I, I didn't get it. And I hate to do this because he's a kid, but Ferdy Shaw as the titular Artemis, I didn't think he was very good. Part of it is the way the character was written. He's just kind of a obnoxious brat, but almost every single line he gave was deadpan. And there was just no character there. There was no charisma there. And I honestly didn't care about him at any point. And oddly for a movie called Artemis Fowl, he's kind of a secondary character. And this movie uses a framing device of Josh Gad's character in prison, sort of talking at the camera in these enormous exposition dumps to explain to us exactly what's going on. Normally I hate that, and to be honest, here I, I hated that, but I understand why it was there. This movie jumps around a lot without establishing geography or story beats, to the point of not quite confusion, but certainly convolution. So I get why the narration was there, but it totally felt like it was something that was added in reshoots because the initial cut was a mess. I don't know that for a fact, I'm speculating, but that's what it felt like. And for an adventure fantasy movie, this flick was dull. I was bored, I never felt a sense of adventure or magic, and I was just constantly checking to see how much was left. I even found the score problematic because certain melodies sounded a lot like what a wonderful world to the point of distraction. But the thing I find the most astonishing about this movie is how bad it looks. Yeah, I liked the color palette and there were, to Kenneth Branagh's credit, a couple of really cool shots, but the visual effects are awful. This makes no sense to me. Disney has, I believe the technical term is a metric ton of money. How does this look so bad? As is my understanding before COVID-19, they were intending this for a theatrical release. Seriously. You guys were gonna charge people 15 bucks for a movie that looks like that? A movie where you spent, I don't know, 65 bucks on the CGI? There were moments in this movie that looked like a PlayStation 3 game. I emphatically do not recommend this movie. I could look past the CGI, the acting, all that stuff if it were at least fun, but it's not. It comes across as lazy and even worse, it comes across as cynical. As though people at Disney were like, People love the books. They're gonna see it no matter what. They're gonna pay to see it. Let's just get it done and get it out there. And that's just gross. Now, I don't have a proprietary rating system as of yet, so I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna give Artemis Fowl. I'm thinking I'm gonna give Artemis Fowl a... Uh, that's a foul, bro. Out of 10. So now, I wanna know, have you seen Artemis Fowl? What did you think about it? What is your favorite book to movie translation of all time? Whatever your thoughts, hit the comments below. Let's discuss. If you enjoyed this review, please smash that like button and give it a share if you really enjoyed it. And hey, why not take a second, do me a favor, click subscribe and ring that bell to subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews, entertainment news, trailer reactions, all that good stuff. Hope you guys are all safe and healthy. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.